Hey guys, in this video, we are going to cover the main characteristics of the Vue router, and then we're going to modify our Vue.js application, adding a menu using the Vue router support. Remember to subscribe to the channel and please hit that bell notification so you get an alert every time that I upload new content. So these are the main features provided by Vue router. You can map routes or menu URLs to specific components. You can map routes, params, query strings, and wildcards. You get fine-grained navigation control in your web application. Also, you're going to get links with automatic active CSS classes. We're going to see in a minute in our app that you're going to get HTML5 history mode or hash mode. And finally, View Router also provides a customizable scroll behavior. Okay, so now let's move on to the Visual Studio Code. But before doing that, if I have helped you in any way, please consider clicking the Patreon link in the description below to support the channel with just $1 a month. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, this is our Vue.js application where we can add tasks. We can mark tasks as completed. We can remove tasks. Let's go back to the Visual Studio Code. So we've been working adding Vuex to manage the state of the application. We also added Axios to interact with our RESTful API in the backend. We also added these test utils support to create unit tests for our application. We also added Cypress to run end-to-end -end tests. So now we are going to add view router so we can create a menu and map our components to the different menu URLs. So let's do that. I'm going to close this. And as usual, npm install view router. Okay, now we have view router installed in our application. And first, what we're going to do, we're going to create two components. One of them is going to be basically the same that we have here, but I'm going to also create an about page so we can navigate that menu and we have more than one option to show the view router functionality. So I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call it views and I'm going to create first a new component that's going to be about the about component about that view and as usual I'm going to create the HTML of the component using the template tag and here I'm going to add a div And I'm going to add an H1. Let's say about, and let's create a paragraph. Task manager app about page pragmatic previous. Okay. And I'm going to create a home view that's going to be the home component. Home that view. And what I'm going to put here is basically all the content that we have here. So I'm going to components. And sorry, I'm going to app and I'm going to copy all the contents, sorry, all the contents of the file within this home component. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file named router.js where I'm going to add the mapping for these components. So first, I'm going to import view, import 
view from view. I'm going to import router from the dependency that we sh just installed, that is view router. I'm going to import the home component that we just created within our views folder. And I'm going to import the about component that we just created. About and about. Okay, now I need to use the router dependency here. So in order to do that, I'm going to use you do that use. And here I pass the router instance. And here I'm going to export default and I'm going to initialize the router and I'm going to use that to add the mapping of the URLs to the components. So new router and here I, I'm going to create an object and within this object I'm going to add a routes attribute that's going to be an array with the different routes or menu options of the application. Each of these objects is going to include a path, a name, and a component. So first path is going to be the root element or the root component. The name of this option is going to be home and the component is going to be home. This is our first menu option. And then the second one, I'm going to copy this. And the second option is going to be the about page. So the path is going to be slash about. The name is going to be about and the component is going to be the about component. Okay, now we have our routes created here. I'm going to close this and I'm going to make some changes here. First, I need to change this app component because I only want to include the header component where I'm going to add the menu there. I'm going to remove this. And here I need to keep this tag to map the routes. The tag that I need to use here is router view. Like that. Okay, I'm going to remove these components from here and I'm going to keep the header and remove the rest. Okay, let's move on to the header component. It's in the layout folder within the components. And here I'm going to add all the router links that I just created here in the router.js file. So let's do that. I'm going to add a div. Let's use the nav as ID for this div. And let's add the router links. So router link to forward slash, this is the root 
option or the home option. So this is going to be the first link in our menu. And the second one is going to be the about page that is going to be mapped to the slash about URL. Okay, now we're going to need to go to our main JS file, that is our entry point for the application. So I'm going to import router from router. That is actually this router.js file. And I'm going to pass the router to the view instance of the application. Okay, let's run this and let's see if we are missing anything. Yeah, this file is in the wrong place, so I'm going to move it here. Okay. And these relative modules were not found. Okay, so here I need to add this because I moved these components. Okay, let's compile it again. Okay, and I'm sure I didn't save this. Okay, I'm going to save this now. Okay, and now and now we should be good to go. I'm going to refresh the application and I'm getting, yeah, I'm probably using the header in more than one place. Okay. I don't want to use the header here. So I'm going to remove it. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to save this. Let's refresh now. And now we have the menu. And here we can see the feature the hash mode. So if I go back, I go back to the root option. If I click here, I go to the about option and I can move back and forth. Okay, and now let's check that our application is still working as expected. We can mark a task as completed. We can delete the task. We can create a new task. Let's create another one. We can remove them. So that's pretty much it. We have our menu using view router. So now we have view X to manage the state of the application. We have view router to create a menu and map components to the different menu options and URLs. We have Cypress to test, to run end-to-end -end tests in our application. We have Axios to call the backend API. And we also have the view test utils to run unit tests in our application. So that's all I have for today. Remember to like and subscribe, and I see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.